Velocity of Z is a nonfiction text by David Gran. It was published in the year 2009 and its purpose is to inform and teach. Similar books would be any books about the exploration of the Amazon rainforest and its natives. In the year 1906, it, Percy Fawcett's first expedition, and 1925, when he, the year he was never heard from again. The place is the Amazon rainforest, which also happens to be the antagonist, and Percy Fawcett is the protagonist. Percy Fawcett served in the army during World War I and achieved the rank of artillery commander. He tried to get it changed to colonel because it carried more weight that way when he was trying to get sponsors for his expeditions. Oh. Percy Fawcett was a man with a dream. He was obsessed with the idea of El Dorado, or Z as he called it, in the Amazon rainforest. He was willing to risk everything to find it. He plunged into the rainforest with few men and animals to, to support him and his son. The movement was slow and dangerous. The animals and terrain were vicious and unforgiving. They went as far into the forest as they dared with the guides they had hired and then left them behind and were never seen again. A later expedition was successful in finding what is thought to be Z. People plunged into the ring into the forest after Fawcett and were also never heard from again. Z, as Percy Fawcett called it, was thought to be a mass civilization with riches beyond compare and the beings who inhabited it were said to be even farther along in evolution than Europeans. It consumed some people, and they did as Fossa did and plunged into the forest. It made no sense to some people that the Amazon could sustain a large population. They found, they found what is supposedly Z, but it is nothing like Fawcett's beliefs. While reading, I felt like my skin was crawling. I mean, there was some of the sicknesses they encountered. They had to deal with vampire bats, some of the bugs. It's just nasty business in the Amazon rainforest. Um, I would recommend this book. It's good nonfiction for junior high and high schoolers.